What's up everyone? If you're like me and you enjoy playing music or just using CarPlay in your vehicle, but you don't like to have cables everywhere, uh, you may be looking for a wireless uh, CarPlay solution. And so I bought one uh, a few months ago, been using it, uh, and I wanted to really kind of give it a thorough um, rundown just to make sure that I liked it because there's a lot of these on the market. And truthfully, some of them aren't that great. Some of them have uh, connectivity issues. I've heard people having disconnect, uh, you know, frequent disconnecting uh, when they've used uh, some of the other products on the market. And so I was really hesitant, uh, especially because at the time I bought this particular product, it was on sale. Uh, I got it for $55 on Amazon, usually retails for like double that, uh, which was another reason I was a little bit apprehensive. But as most things on Amazon had really good reviews, uh, and so after reading through the reviews, some of it, uh, some of the bad reviews were related to like version one, version two, the one I have is version three. And I think at the time of making this video, they're already up to like version four. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to jump over to my 2021 forerunner and show you guys what I did to get a uh, wireless car play. And as mentioned, I'm in my 2021 forerunner. Um, I bought this brand new in 2021. And one of the things that shocked me, um, but I guess I can't be too shocked because Toyota's always done this, is while the infotainment centers in the 2020 and up forerunners, uh, you get the larger screen and it's equipped with CarPlay and Android Auto, um, it's not wireless. And, and I'm kind of surprised. A lot of cars started getting wireless CarPlay as early as like 2018. And so I just was kind of at a loss to why they don't want wireless CarPlay. And I know the argument is, you know, if your phone's plugged in, it's charging, so it's ready for you. And and I don't disagree with that. But for short trips, particularly if you're just cruising around town, it is kind of annoying to have cables cluttering up your console, at least for me. Anyone that has a foreigner, they'll confirm that this USB port is where you have to plug in for your phone to interact with the infotainment center if you want to do CarPlay. Um, even though there is other ports back here, um, you know, it's unfortunate that that's the only one they chose. Um, in my forerunner particular, it has the optional rapid charge uh, USB ports, which work fantastic. And so for me, it made no sense to have my phone plugged up all the time, because even if I'm on a long trip, I can just plug my phone in and in a really quick amount of time, my phone would be fully charged. So it's uh, a little bit irrelevant uh, for me to have my phone plugged up the whole time. And frankly, I'm not a fan of the clutter that it causes having the phone plugged up because when your phone's plugged up in the Forerunner, it won't fit down in this cubby hole. At least my phone won't. Um, my phone won't even fit in this little cubby holder, um, whether it's plugged in or not. So I wound up losing either my cup holder or I put it in this little slot right here. Um, but consequently, that causes me to kind of lose this cup holder or I can flip the phone up. And then I end up with a cable that's running down here and around the shifter. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit dramatic, I guess, but it's it's annoying nonetheless. So I went out and tried to find what are the best options for wireless CarPlay. And if you go to Google or you go to Amazon and you type in wireless CarPlay adapter, you'll be flooded with a ton of options. And some are good, some are bad, some are gimmicky. Um, so you really have to decipher through what are you actually looking for. And for me, all I wanted was fast connectivity and reliability. That, that was the only things I really wanted um, because at the end of the day, CarPlay works really well. Um, as does Android Auto. And so at the end of the day, I, I know when my phone's plugged up to this, it works great. So I wanted similar results to as when my phone's plugged into this via USB, um, just through a wireless transmitter. And so that was my main goal. Uh, and then also not spend a ton of money on this thing because, um, let's be honest, you know, for a wireless feature, I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars. It's just not, it doesn't make sense. But with that being said, read a ton of reviews. Um, some of the reviews were uh, related to version one, version two uh, ver uh, products. And so you really had to decipher through it. And so where I ended up landing on was I got the Carlin kit. Um, so this particular one, as I said, this was 50, about 55 bucks uh, with a couple of coupons and things that Amazon was running around Black Friday last year. And these already have really good reviews online. Um, there's a handful of people that aren't happy with them for a couple of reasons. Um, could be that they got a dud. I did, I did notice a lot of, uh, complaints were around the version one, version two of the product. 
Uh, and so I'm sure they were still working out the kinks. But for me, after using this for about six months, um, you know, it, well, five months, uh, the product has been fairly consistent. Uh, it, it's overall very reliable. Um, it can be slow to boot up sometimes. So like when you first start the car in the morning, but it always connects. It always finds my phone. Um, the audio is okay. That's probably one of my complaints, but I think most streaming services compress the audio anyways. Uh, so I noticed even through USB, it's not always the greatest. Um, but with that being said, Apple Maps, Google Maps, uh, Waze, all of those products work really well. They load very fast on the phone or on the, the touchscreen. Uh, and, and it's just been very reliable. So I, I definitely have to say, if you're in the market for a wireless CarPlay adapter, um, the Carlin kit seems to be really good. Um, it's not <clears throat> not the best in terms of, uh, you know, I, I would say in terms of how, how small the device is, because there are smaller options on the market. Um, in the Forerunner, there's this little like pole here that they use for different accessories um, that it fits in there really well and it doesn't fall out while I'm driving. So I just kind of leave it in there. Um, I do know there's like USB stick versions, um, not by this company, but other companies. And I didn't want that cause it would stick out. And I, I when I use four wheel drive, I didn't want to bump into it or have to unplug it. Um, so this worked out really well. It doesn't stick out very far where it interferes with anything. It can sit in this little cubby hole and the, the reception's perfect. I mean, it's sitting in that cubby hole doesn't hinder the signal uh, to and from my phone, uh, which is fantastic. I know other cars, sometimes they're in the console, sometimes they're in other places. Um, but I think overall, that's a pretty good design because you can always plug it into the USB port regardless of where it's at. And then maybe double side tape that somewhere else. You could get even get a longer USB cable if you needed to and plug it into your USB port and then double side tape the actual receiver somewhere else so it's out of the way. So that that's the options that I liked about the uh the the Carlin kit as well. But with that being said, overall very pleased with how it turned out. Um I'll try to uh, turn the Forerunner on and show you uh, that it does work. I don't know if it'll work with my phone uh, connected to the car and doing video, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, guys, so the car did allow me to connect uh, to CarPlay and still use my camera. Right now, I'm currently showing you my Pandora. I can scroll through that with no problem, and as you can see, there is no lag. I can also shift over to the menu items. I can scroll through that. Also, no lag there, which is fantastic. Works really well. Um, I will definitely say, uh, you know, when it first starts up, it takes about 15, 20 seconds for it to boot up and for it to actually connect to the phone. But as I'm showing you here, once it's connected, uh, it works really, really well. Um, I'm not sure. I don't want to get I don't want to get flagged by YouTube for copyright. Um, but let's just see if I can play some music and show you guys what it actually sounds like um, with it connected via this uh, wireless adapter. I can probably play about 10 seconds worth of music and then we'll see what it does. Okay, that was a bit of a fail. Uh, when you hit play, it does disconnect from the camera, understandably, because it's trying to do two things at once. Um, so I can't really do a, um, a test here. Um, if I had another phone or another camera, I could, but, um, don't have that right now. Uh, with that being said though, as soon as I hit play, the music plays, so there's no lag there. Um, you just kind of have to take my word for it, but yeah, overall, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, it works really well in my opinion. It's been pretty solid, uh, for the price at the time. Uh, you may want to wait for a coupon or for them to drop the price. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily worth like what it was going for full price. Cause I think it was going north of a hundred dollars. Um, but for 55 bucks, I'm extremely pleased with it. Works very well. Gives me a feature that truthfully should have came on this thing when it was built. Um, but that's beside the point. Um, overall, the new infotainment center that Toyota puts in here is really good. Really good sized screen. It's easy to read even direct sunlight. Um, it's very responsive to, um, you know, if you touch it and ask to change to menus and things. It's just a really good system overall. So I do see why Toyota waited 
Um, you know, I, I, get, I don't know if they made this in house or what vendor they worked with, but it, it definitely did pay off for them to, uh, to wait, uh, because this is a very good info, infotainment center, minus the fact that it doesn't have the wireless car player, or wireless Android auto. Uh, with that being said though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you have any questions, for, uh, throw a comment down below. I'll definitely try to answer as many of them as I can. Uh, and if you have any questions about... <clears throat> getting this set up on your phone, um, or if you want my opinion on any of the other ones on the market, because I did do quite a bit of research on them before I uh, did make my purchase, uh, please put that in the comments down below. I'll, uh, I'll try to reach out as much as I can. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.